Russian tanks rolling across the border in southern Ukraine, airstrikes hitting large cities, and thousands of people attempting to flee the Ukrainian capital, Kiev. Footage from Ukraine shows scenes of war after President Putin announced a military operation in the country. Everyone here is shocked. Uh, everyone here knew that this might be coming for months. It was predicted and discussed. And now that it's here, it's very hard to fathom. And people here, uh, a lot of them have fled, but a lot remain. Ukrainian officials said strikes targeted military installations, airfields and government facilities across the country. Air raid sirens blared in Kiev after President Putin's statement was broadcast. In the early hours of February 24th, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky declared martial law and called for global assistance. Уже закликав світових лідерів задіяти всі можливі санкції проти Путіна, розпочати масштабну оборонну підтримку, закрити для агресора повітряний простір над Україною. Спільно ми маємо врятувати Україну, врятувати демократичний світ. President Biden called the move unjustified, pledging new actions against Russia. The EU said it would hit Moscow's financial sector, freezing assets and banning the export of technology to the country. We will weaken Russia's economic base and its capacity to modernize. The United Nations condemned Russia's moves during a meeting of the Security Council late Wednesday. This is the saddest moment in my tenure as Secretary General of the United Nations. President Putin, in the name of humanity, bring your troops back to Russia. President uh, Vladimir Putin of Russia said uh, his goal is to hold uh, Ukraine's leaders to account and, and put them on trial for uh, the last eight years uh, of events in, in Donbass. We don't know the end game as yet. Um, but as troops uh, enter from various directions and as uh, airstrikes uh, continue in all over the country, it does uh, seem possible that, that Russia's goal is to make its way to Kiev, the capital, in order to take over Ukraine.